Okay, solving equations with logs, probably another long video. Lots of different ways we can um, use equations, so be a big one. I'm going to draw some nasty socks here because that five should be lower so I can draw a sock, nasty sock, so x equals 5 squared, which is 25. We're solving for x. So that 10 is down there, so it's 2x plus 1 equals 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 is 1. x equals 0. That 10 is the base, so it's 10, 5 minus 2x equals 10 to the 1. 10 to the 1 is just 10. So we're just applying the sock rule here a lot. Um, x squared x squared equals 9. Please do not go x equals 3 because that's a quadratic difference of two squares. x equals plus or minus 3. Um, x is in the base. That's <laughs> nasty anyway x to the minus 3 equals 1 on 8. For those of you who can see it, x is 2, but let's just say you don't see it. Um, so that negative power means that that's 1 on x cubed. You want the x to the top, so multiply both sides by x cubed, and then the 8's going to go to the top. Multiply both sides by 8. Um, what cubed is 8? What's the cubic root of 8? X is 2. So we've got 4. X cubed equals 4 cubed. Oh, oh my gosh. I think X is 4. Uh, that's pretty... Pretty easy, isn't it? Uh, let's do that a different way. So if that was the question in the exam, I think I'd do it that way, but you've got to know how to do things differently. So I'm going to take that 3. That's a power and put it down the front. So that's 3 times log to base x of 4. I'm going to... Divide both sides by 3 to cancel my 3. I'm going to apply my log, my sock rule. Sorry, my sock rule. X equals 4. X equals 4. But we did it in a different way. And that's good because you're showing your deep and thorough knowledge and understanding of logs. Uh, 2 is in the base. 2 to what power is 8? We want some justification. So we do an indicial equation. x equals 3. Six to the x equals 1. Hmm. What power gives us 1? 0. Therefore, x equals 0. OK. Log law 1 and 2 in an equation. We are subtracting using like bases. Therefore, we divide...
can you see that that is the same on either side of my equal sign? Uh, clearly, if the sides are balanced, then the blue must equal the blue. So we can just go therefore x on 4 equals 2, x equals 8. Same sort of thing in the next one. We've got like bases, so we are dividing. Clearly, that's a therefore, x equals 2. Uh, that and that, exactly the same question, yeah. So let's not do that one. This one's a bit harder to see because this 3 isn't a log. So how do you apply a log law when it's not a log? So the concept is I want to replace that number 3. I want to substitute it with something that's the same as 3 but has a log to base 10 on it because these are, are both base 10 logs. So... Sock rule. So 3 is the same as log to base 10 of 1,000. So I'm going to need that space. So I'm going to replace that 3 with... Then there's a minus... Now we've just got a normal log equation like we, uh, a log yeah, equation that we had before. So because we're subtracting, and we're going to just go clearly therefore, and x, I think, would looks to be like 500. Okay, so your textbook is going to give you some indicial equations in your log section. And it's just to get you used to how to deal with it. Um, if, if this question was in your test, you were going to go straight to 2 to the x. You're going to represent 128 as a power of 2 and go 2 to the 7 and just go therefore x equals 7. So we already know our answer, but let's just use logs. Um, I've written my, uh, rewritten my question. Um, see this x, it's trapped in a power, and the only way to get x out of the power, because clearly I want x equals x, x there is not in a power, is it? It is, it is on the line. Um, so the only way to get x out of the power is to log both sides. We're going to do the same to both sides, log both sides. What base are we going to use? We're going to come to the question and say, what base is in the question? Two. Um, then we're going to use that law to get the x down the front. That is 1, isn't it? So what's x times 1? Just x. That gets me x equals. And what's log of base 2 of 128? We know that's 7. So we've got our answer, but using logs. Um, this is a bit easier. 3 to the x equals 9. Let's log both sides. The base in the question was a 3, so I'm going to use log to base 3. That x will come down. That is 1. What's x times 1? And what's log base 3 of 9? Is 2. So we get our answer 2. Right. This is why we, we need it, because I, don't, I can't represent 2 as a base 
11 as a base over 2. It doesn't work. So, 2 to the x equals 11. I'm logging both sides, and I need a base of 2. That x will go out. x That's just one. Right, if you're in grade 11, you can put this thing here in your calculator. If you're in grade 10, your calculator is not smart enough to do that, and you need to use the rule, that the one rule that I haven't told you about yet. Um, we can change bases of logs. Your calculator can only do log of base 10 um, and log of base E, but you, you don't know about E yet. So this 2 is a bit of a problem, so we've got to change it. And we're going to do that by changing it to log 10. See this 11? It's above the 2. 2 is beneath the 11. And we, we can change it to any base we like. We can change it to base 123. The 11's on top and the 2's underneath. These are all the same answers. But guess what? Your calculator can do this one. So you're going to go to your calculator. Where is my calculator? Find your log button. It's just L-O-G. Uh, log 11 on log 2. 3.45943. Okay. Let's do another one. 5 to the x equals 8. So I'm going to log both sides. Come back. Okay. The base I'm going to use is base 5. The x is going to come down. Because I'm short on room. Let's just convert over here to the right. So I've got to go to log 10. The 8's the higher number, as in physically higher on the page. And I'm going to put that in my calculator. Log to base 10 of 8. And log to base 10 of 5. You don't need to put the base in your calculator because it, that's all it can do. 1.292022, blah, 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 blah. And we can do anything. Your calculator is pretty smart. Uh, 3 to the x equals 1.7. Log both sides. You can see that it's repetitive. The x will come down. Uh, 1.7 and 3. You see, you've just got to get fast at this. Three, one point seven, zero point four eight two nine nine. You could check that. Put this in your calculator. Three to the zero point four eight two nine nine. Uh, three to the zero point four eight. And that equals 1.699983. Yep, so there's evidence that it works. Not too many more, I hope. Oh, gosh. Okay. Log both sides of base 3. That whole bracket will come down the front.
that is just one, so that can disappear. And this I need in log to base 10. 12 and 3. So x plus 2 equals... Two point two six subtract out two zero point two six. Whew. Last one. Okay, we are adding like based logs, therefore we multiply log four. equals one. We are going to apply our sock rule. Um, let's expand that crab claw. x squared plus x equals four to the one. Well, four to the one is just four. Let's get that four to the other side. That will be x plus three. No, factor law, x equals minus 3 or 2. So let's just think about that. Where's the question? I'm sort of okay with that 2, but let's think about this negative 3. If I was to substitute x equal to negative 3 in there, I'd have log to base 4 of minus 1. Well, 4... To what power is negative 1? 4 to what power is negative 1? It can't be done. There's no power that you can think of that gives a negative answer. So even though they are quadratic and you need to get two answers, even though there's two possible answers, you need to go uh, undefined. That's an N in there. X equals negative 3 is undefined, therefore the only answer... is x equals 2. Because you're solving for x. You are solving for x. There's only one value of x that makes that true, and that's x equals 2. It's a long video. Sorry about that, but there was a lot to get through and a lot of practice for you to do. Get going.